Hello guys, so welcome to my session. So in this session, I'm going to cover about the monitoring part, like how do we monitor your entire Kubernetes cluster. So here I'm using Grafana and Prometheus. So it's a very important tool, a famous tool. And this is this tool also I'm using in my project, in my current life project, in the production environment. So Grafana and Prometheus the tool is, is for monitor your entire Kubernetes cluster, entire worker node, entire deployment file. So by using this tool, you have to check like how much CPU utilization for particular node, for particular pod of entire cluster. So in so Grafana provide the GUI dashboard, like graphical dashboard, where you can see like how much CPU utilization over the cluster, like memory and the disk and PVC okay so you you have created multiple dashboard about like uh, about your pvc status about your cpu memory so those things you can uh, visualize in your grafana dashboard so in this session i am going to install the grafana prometheus using helm chart so i hope you know aware about the what is helm and how do we use so here the helm provide so in you by using helm chart you don't need to write anything like you don't need to write a single code or yaml file for the deployment you have to just add the helm repo add you have to add the repository where all the code are written in the in the form of chart and then you have to just run helm install command and then your grafana and prometheus will be installed okay so this is a very simple and easy method so if you want to get uh more deeper into the helm chart or like how do we customize the helm chart how do we modify the yaml file which is stored in as a form of template or helm chart then i will discuss in the next session like how do we do uh, like uh, how do we download the value.yaml file and then we have to do changes so but in this session it's just like a demo session and i'm just creating a simple uh, installation of grafana and prometheus so first my task is first i have to add the repo as i said so all the yaml all the code are written in this in the form of chart so first you have to add this repo m repo add so this is my kubernetes cluster kubectl get node kubectl get pod so only two pods are there so now i am going to add our uh, helm chart and repo add here so it's already there so what is the command to see like uh, repo has been added or not so for that you have to run this command helm repo list now you can see our already prometheus community chart has been added so first i have to remove this one helm repo remove and the name of the chart now your repository has been removed you can see here earlier it was prometheus was there but now here no prometheus community so again i have to add the repo helm repo add prometheus now you can see your chart has been visible here now the second step you have to just run the helm install command so this is the helm install command and after this you can see your if you will get this type of output it means your application has been successfully deployed and you can see your status deployed and let's see status of my pod so here you can see uh, already your pods has been created this is this is the prometheus pod okay so this cube matrix so every pod have has its own uh, specific role to monitor the entire dashboard so you can see cube state matrix it means they can collect the matrix and node exporter pod it means they can collect the uh, all the logs and matrix from the worker node so push gateway and the prometheus server this is a prometheus server okay so all the monitoring data is stacked the information uh, on this application on this pod so now let's see status of the pod you can see all the pods are up and running okay so prometheus has been installed so the next uh, task is to install the grafana 
so for that again i have to add the depot for the uh, grafana you know the uh, application so so let's i have to add so grafana repository has been added now we have to run this command helm upgrade install grafana and grafana now it's installed you can see here uh, deployed successfully let's see the status of grafana pod here you can see uh, grafana is uh, running state but is zero one so we have to wait for a second now it's up and running so now we have to try to access this grafana dashboard for that you have to go to service kubectl get service so if you so at that i have already covered in my earlier session about the uh, what is how many types of service are there like uh, node port cluster ip load balancer okay so those thing i have already dis uh, details in my earlier session if you go there so i have created multiple session like if you go there in this series and uh, the real time issue in this is i have covered about all the uh, real time training i have uh, in kubernetes so those thing i have covered okay so now let's uh, we have to access our grafana dashboard so we have to change our uh, cl cluster ip to load balancer service because cluster ip because by using cluster ip we can't access the grafana dashboard from outside or uh, over the internet or outside the cluster so for that you have to change the service type from cluster ip to load balancer so for that you have to just edit run the edit command and you have to mention the service name now you can see here this is your type cluster ip type so you have to change type from cluster ip to load balancer now it's saved now let's see status you can see here my cluster ip has been changed to load balancer and i will get the one ip so that by using this ip you will get the access of grafana dashboard okay so you have to copy and then you have to paste it paste in the browser then wait for a second it will come up with the grafana dashboard so this is the status of my pod so here you can see by using only two command i have set up the entire grafana and prometheus no need to write any code any yaml file here then the same in my production environment like i have to download the value.yaml file so let me show you so here i have downloaded the value.yaml file from the helm chart and then i have to do some modification and yeah so you will get the yaml file of uh, your deployment file your grafana prometheus and then you have to do some modification as per the requirement and then you have to install the grafana and prometheus and if you want to so i have already created the dashboard if you want to see let, let, so we have to go to home page and then there is option dashboard and you can see a lot of dashboard i have created so if you want to get more details about it then you can ping me over my whatsapp this num my number is uh, given in my description so you can ping me and you uh, you will get more information about like dashboard like how do we create this dashboard and yeah so i will give you all the details so here you can see i have created for cluster level dashboard and if you want to see namespace level then you have to see here the namespace level uh, let me my is not thinking so yeah so it's the namespace level dashboard i have created and if you want to see so i have created multiple dashboard like cluster level dashboard namespace level dashboard and worker node uh, monitoring dashboard deployment level so if you go there you can select like which namespace you so which namespace you want to monitoring so i have to select calico system then you have to select the deployment then you have to select the pod level and then you can see the dashboard about memory utilization cpu utilization network utilization 
so same i have created dashboard for the pvc like pvc persistent volume uh, monitoring like how many uh, uh, how many pvc are running in your environment so in my case i have two environment tutorial so i have two pvc in my environment so i have created dashboard for that yeah three pvc grafana prometheus and the pvc and kubectl get pvc hyphen and test and these two pvc are in failed state so you can see all are visible here in my grafana dashboard like they and it also showing the uh, utilization like how much free space are there how much uh, used pvc what are the capacity what are the name of pvc or what is the name of persistent volume claim so you can find here you can also select uh, you can filter to the namespace level like if you want to see the pvc status on namespace level then you can filter out from here so this is the very important dashboard because generally in the production environments you have uh, multiple uh, per persistent volumes and your application data is stored in the persistent volume so so most of the like sometimes the pvc has been occupied suppose in the application you have assigned 300 gb and out of 300 gb 280 gb has been utilized so in this that case you have to see the dashboard and you can uh, work accordingly like before to uh, reach the threshold you have to increase the pvc size so you can monitor from here and you can also uh, see the status of all the PVC. Some PVC are corrupted, and you can see the status. And you have to log into that particular cluster, and then you have to fix the issue. So I have already covered in my live troubleshooting issue, like uh, how many, uh, which type of issue generally face in my production environment. So based on that, I have created multiple uh, issue, and I have fixed those issue in my lab also. So this this will be very helpful. Like if you are lacking to crack the interview and you don't have real time exposure, so after that you can easily uh, you can get a real time exposure after com complete my uh, you have to watch my session and then you can explain very well in the interview. Like you have uh, work on this type of issue, you have faced this type of challenges. What are the day-to-day -day tasks you can explain to the interviewer because you haven't chance to work in the real-time environment. You just learn from the some Udemy and uh, classes, but you don't have, but you are lacking for to get the real-time exposure. So for that, I have created this type of session. Like I have explained all the customer requirement, like which type of customer requirement in the real-time project. So I have created 24 session on that like how many which type of customer required in the existing cluster okay so those things i have covered i have covered about real time issue and live troubleshooting issue i have created those session and i have fixed those issue the same like cluster upgradation like cluster upgradation is a mandatory task okay so whenever you uh, you will get a chance to work in the environment then you have to upgrade the cluster every quarter of four or five months so what are the challenges faced during the cluster upgradation? Those things I have covered, like what are the pre-planning, pre-task and post-task, how do we plan to uh, before the cluster upgradation? Those things I have explained it where, uh, everywhere in this uh, series. And also what are the challenges during post-cluster upgradation? Sometimes some application like engineering risk controller has some dependency with the latest version of cluster. So how do we check like, which version is compatible with for other applications. So those things I have explained, uh, explained it in this session. Also, like I have uh, created Grafana Prometheus like uh, through Helm chart, like how do we download the value.yaml file and then how do we customize as per my requirement in the value.yaml file and then we have to uh, install the Grafana and Prometheus. So those things, uh, if you want to, get more detail then you can ping me i will give in the details about this and you can see a lot of like grafana prometheus tutorials live troubleshooting customer requirement and uh, uh yeah those other things uh, i have so uh, also i have created some dashboard so if you need 
information about the how do we create the dashboard then you can contact me then we'll help you so this is the overview like uh, about the uh, grafana and prometheus like how do we set up grafana and prometheus in the production environment and how do we set up the dashboard so you can find here all the information about the dashboard and the uh, uh, and the how to monitor the cluster and the worker node so here i have created about node level monitoring so you can see it here so how many ports are running over particular worker node you can select it here about the node okay if you have multiple node you have to just click on the node and you will get all the information what are the uptime how many ram used how many cpu used uh, and how many ports are running over this uh, node okay all the information you will get from here and uh, yeah you can see a lot of information here so same node exporter so you can see this is the also the one of the uh dashboard for the node and you can get a lot of information a lot of panels are created so mainly we have to focus on the ram cpu and disk those things we have to monitor you can see here this is the memory this is a disk space this is a file system of worker node like how much uh, free space they over over there in the worker node so you can monitor from here and yeah and apart from that i have uh, create a multiple series like you i have already show you like customer requirement and live troubleshooting so that will be very more helpful to get a real time uh, exposure in the kubernetes and you can see a lot of uh, very uh, good feedback from the student who took my series and you can see like the person who took my series they have multiple offer for the kubernetes profile and this is uh, you can see here a lot of uh, positive feedback uh, it's very helpful to crack the interview and also very helpful to get a real time exposure without to work in the real time environment so yeah so this is the things so and so yeah so let me know like if you need more details you can ping me over my whatsapp my whatsapp number is given in the description so thanks for watching thank you